Hi right, everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. We're continuing to follow the latest developments in the search for Brian Laundrie. The FBI confirming unidentified human remains were found near a backpack and a notebook belonging to Laundrie. Officials say that the items located in a Florida nature park that his family says Brian was very familiar with. These items were found in an area that up until recently have been underwater. Our evidence response team is on scene using all available forensic resources to process the area. Brian Laundrie is considered a person of interest in the murder of his girlfriend, Gabby Petito. Now, according to a coroner's report, Gabby was strangled to death. We're hearing and now from the victim of a shooting in Midtown Mobile. It happened yesterday afternoon on Blair Avenue near North Catherine Street. Lewis Dixon spoke with Fox 10 News from his hospital bed. Dixon is a contracted worker and was inside of a home when he was met by the unexpected visitor and had to fight for his life. Dixon says that he was confronted and held at gunpoint after being threatened to hand over his car keys. I tried to grab the gun and, and grab him by the throat and take him down. When I got to the front door, I slammed the door in his face, about knocked him out. And that's when he fired a shot through the glass at the front door, you know, shooting me in the back. Dixon is expected to make a full recovery. Mobile police do have a surveillance photo of the gunman, and we're working now to get that photo. The Clark County Public School System making changes to their mask mandate. Starting on November 1st, masks will be encouraged but not required. Now, as always, school leaders say that they will continue to revisit the COVID data should cases begin to rise again. Now, this comes a day after the Alabama Department of Public Health asked school systems to reconsider relaxing their mask mandates. They say that that's because new COVID cases have dropped more slowly in children than adults. The CDC's vaccine advisors are meeting today and boosters are on the agenda. Moderna's Johnson & Johnson's booster as well, along with the possibility of mix and match boosters, have all been FDA authorized. Now, if the CDC's vaccine advisors give the thumbs up, it's up to the CDC's director to make recommendations and shots could be in arms in just a matter of days. For now, boosters are only for people 65 and older and certain at-risk groups, though that could soon change. I think that data is really emerging that people over 40 probably would benefit. Um, and over time, I can imagine even younger people getting it. It's data from the NIH that drove the FDA's call on mixing and matching shots, including data that shows a particular benefit of mixing and matching for people who got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Hey there everyone, I'm meteorologist Jennifer Lambers and starting off for this morning, we are tracking just some isolated showers out there to begin the day. Now rain chances still possible heading into this afternoon, ramping up by the second half of the day. So making our way in our future cast heading further on into your morning, you can start to see more of those spotty showers to begin the day. Make sure if you're heading out, have that umbrella, have that rain jacket ready to go because you might find yourself needing it later in the day because you can start to see more of those widespread showers by that point. We're getting closer towards lunchtime, especially towards the east of about I-65 by that point. But then we'll start to see more of these showers heading on into your evening time hour. So Panhandle seeing a lot more activity for today. And then once we make our way further into the afternoon and early evening, you can see more of those just around 4 to 6 p.m. But then once we make our way into the overnight hours, isolated but a lot less active. Now for your 24 hour planner temperatures today going to be maxing out just around 80 degrees and then heading into the overnight hours will be dropping back down into the upper 60s Grand tropics right now quiet. Everything looks good out there at this time. No development expected for the next five days. Now for your full seven day outlook rain chances today at about 70% expecting most places to possibly see the chance for a shower today. However, you could just see a quick passing one and that be it. Now tomorrow isolated chances continue for your Friday. The weekend though looking fantastic lower 80s sunshine and then once we get into midweek next week those rain chances start to return. But hey, at least there's some 70s back in the forecast. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 10 News.